Hello, my name is Tom. Do you want to uninstall IBM Planning Analytics workspace before the fresh install? I'll be showing you how to clean up by removing container and image files created by workspace from Docker. First, let me show you where you can find those files in Docker. Now, if you go to C, Program Data, which is a hidden folder, then Docker, this is where your Docker data files are stored. So now let's clean up the Docker data. So there are three parts to clean up. Containers, images, and network. Let's have a look what containers are installed. And do Docker PS. It'll show you all the containers. And you can also see these files related to each Docker container under program data, Docker, and containers folders. So there are 26 containers, which is pretty normal after you install Planning Analytics Workspace. Now let's have a look at the Docker images. So you can see a bunch of uh, Docker images here, but if you go to Docker and Windows filter, there are much more actually. So there should be about 270 folders created right after you install Planning Analytics Workspace. So let's go ahead and clean up. Script to clean up is already shipped with uh, Planning Analytics Workspace. So I have Planning Analytics Workspace install files right here. I'll go down to the script folder and I'll be running pa.ps1 down. Each microservices will be stopped. So you can see uh, it has removed pretty much all the containers. Next, I'm going to go to the script folder again and I'm going to run clean.ps1. So this script will remove all the images from the workspace. If you go to Docker and Windows filter, we had 270 folders and you can see deleting all the folders. Okay, that took a couple minutes. Now it's down to 60 folders. Now we're going to remove volumes of all database. So this is the command docker volume remove. Okay, that was quick. We still have one folder under containers, you know, about 60 folders under Windows filter that are images. So there might be some device left over or not being used. So I'm going to run a docker system prune to make sure we can delete them and say yes there. You can see it already deleted one container left over. It is deleting the image files. Okay, so that took some time and it deleted all the files under Windows filters. So I don't have anything under containers and I don't have anything under Windows filter. So we get, let me move on to another step. Let me stop service docker and I'm going to remove the, uh, the virtual Ethernet network that were created by the Docker. Okay, so before I run this, let me just quickly show you this. You could have done in the PowerShell as well, but so you can see that there's a V Ethernet or HNS created by the Docker. And let me go ahead and clean up. Let me run the IP config again. So now it's gone. Next step, I'm going to stop service of HNS. So that's about it. We deleted all the image files and container files. We also deleted the uh, HNS network.